Hello, this is Jonathan. I have my uh, auxiliary e-bike battery here. The plan is to add these batteries to it. It's just a microwave oven transformer with a relay attached. I've already welded this pack here. Now, the problem is, how do you control the amount of time that this stays on because if you just use a switch it'll be very irregular and you'll probably burn through the metal instead of welding it. So I was gonna use an Arduino and figure something out but I decided why not the snack tag relay actor and director. I can program this to give it me the timings that I want. The first thing to do is to connect the relay to the bigger relay on the transformer. Um, there's a relay in here, but it's only rated for 3 amps, so it might weld the contacts together inside. I don't know how much current's going through here, but it might, it's probably more than 3 amps. So I will control the bigger relay here, which is rated for 20 amps, with the smaller relay. So make a circuit between common and normally open, right? Because we want to close the contact in pulses. So we want it to be normally open. And you can see there's a circuit. And this is controlling the circuit. Now I need to connect that to my power supply the positive lead and the negative lead to the negative. I can now plug in the relay actor into any USB power source. I have one right here and it's ready to go. Now the next thing to do is to program the director. So, here's the director. The next step is to program it. So I'll plug it into the computer. And we get a USB drive that comes up. This is script.py, and that's what I have open here. If you look at the more high-end battery spot welder controllers they use a dual pulse system and the idea is that the first pulse is shorter and it heats up the metal and the second pulse does most of the welding so that's what we're going to implement here the first line we need is we need to create a representation of the relay actor here I've already done that and uh, you can see we initialize the relay actor here with the ID with the unique relay ID which is found on the bottom of the, the relay actor. The next thing to do is to create a infinite while loop which is done like so. We want the relay to come on for two pulses. So the way we do that is we call the pulse method of the relay actor which and then we specify the state that it's supposed to pulse to which is on and then we specify the length of time to be on in milliseconds which is 30 milliseconds for the first pulse now it's good to have a small delay to allow the metal to heat up so we're going to add a small delay of maybe 100 milliseconds the next thing to do is add the second pulse. So the second pulse is just like this. And again, the state should be on because we want to pulse on. And the time will be 70 milliseconds. And this is just experimental. Um, you can play around with the numbers and figure out what's best for you. The next thing to do is maybe print out that the pulse has succeeded. So we t for triggering the pulses, one option is to use a foot pedal or something, but 
I figure if the pulse comes every three seconds, then I can I can just uh, time it right and and weld or not weld depending on uh, what I'm if I'm ready. Sleep for three seconds. One more thing we can do is turn on one of the LEDs on the director when the pulse is happening. So we can do um, this is the red LED and call the on method. And once the pulse is done, turn it off. For the second pulse, we can blink the green LED. OK, so now we see if this works. We just save the file. Next step is to uh, make it work. So all you have to do is reset the director by pushing Control D on the terminal or pushing the button on the front. And that will cause the code to run and we should see everything start clicking. So you can see the relay here is clicking and the director, the red and green light is indicating which pulse is active. The screen we can see the text being printed every time. Now let's hook it back up to the welder. And you can hear the transformer come on momentarily. Okay, I'm going to be welding this cell into here. And you can see for the, pr for the uh, probes or electrodes here, I just bent over one of the pins, one of the strands in the wire. So that's worked reasonably well. The weld. green ones came from a Asus netbook and it only had three batteries in it. 